Hello, good morning and welcome back to Maypole Farm. It is now late June and uh, our worker is back out mowing. We let them leave. Um, I wasn't going to make them work all through the night. We ain't that cruel. But they're back early today to finish off mowing this field that they uh, sort of struggled with yesterday. So hopefully they'll get that done. Although they seem to be going around in circles over there. We'll leave them to it for now. Um, we want them to get that done though. Because that pasture and the sheep pasture from yesterday, we need to get that Ted today. And uh, we need to get this grass loaded up into our silage clamp, which is what I'm going to start with today. So we are back on the grass. Got a fair old bit to do. Now should we go Deutz or Lamborghini? I think we went a little bit Deutz last time out because the John Deere is with the worker so we'll go with the lambo and we'll put the forage wagon on the back start this up we should have a reasonably good day whilst we're doing this we'll check in on the cows see what sort of milk we're doing we're doing not sure if they make sense <laughs> see how much milk we've got um see what sort of load we could do if we could maybe get a uh run in make some money there want to be uh, getting some pennies in got my projects to do our little bit of land that we brought our little forest land is going to be sitting sort of waiting now until we've got a bit more money and a few more things in place Ooh, need to top up the uh, the additive the silage additive bear with me Right, that's done. <laughs> Got all about it. And uh, let's get stuck straight into getting this in. Now the additive should help us to uh, bolster the quantities of the silage. I believe. Never sure if that means it fills up our loader wagon early or if it just sort of fills out more in the... Uh, Clamp. I haven't the slightest how it works. I'm ready to look into that, don't I? What being <laughs> being a supposed dairy farmer, we all know what we're doing with our grass. I hope you're well, enjoying the weather. It's a toasty hot summer here at the minute. Looks like a pretty, pretty nice summer here in Maypole as well. Hopefully, it stays that way. Got a lot to do, get this grass done, and I think next month we are harvesting the uh, canola field, so definitely want it dry then. I will check that at some point today to make sure that is what we're going to be doing. So, first full wagon, and we've got what half of a headland done, so we're going to get a lot of silage again today. I was going to come back at the clamp, but you can see that going from the grass and muck terrain onto the cement, we get better traction and uh, less wheel slip with the uh, the new sort of realism mods that I've added in. They are available in the mod hub on uh, PC. Get this in here cool I like I like adding a little bit more realism I like making it harder it's just my way so this, uh, why can this action not be performed here is this not empty apparently there's a bit of silage in here somewhere Up the corner right you let's get that sword Okay, I think we got it sorted. <laughs> we'll see. There we go. Yeah, the clamp. <laughs> it had like 730 litres of uh, silage in here somewhere. I couldn't find it. Um, so I've uh, activated the, the advanced silo mod so I can open it, close it and just restack it. 
There's always a workaround. There's always a way. I just couldn't find that tiny little speck that was uh, causing the problem. But in uh, having a little play around, I noticed that we have um, simple IC on the uh, Lamborghini, which I uh, hadn't noticed before. Which is cool. So now we can play around with doors and windows on it. Which is great. Might get that little show later as well. Let's get some of this silage in. Last nine already. Already? Can't even give me words out. I'm excited about being able to play with the doors. We are getting so much chaffing off this. We've not even completed a full headland. And we're on our second trailer load. This is going to be so good. Mainly for money come the uh, come the spring. Getting a bit of stuttering again. But since I've uh, added a few extra mods to be out to deal with some bits. So I uh, might have to look into that in the future as well. I'm going to try, going to try not to pay too much attention to it. There's a lot going on in the background now. Let's get this one done. How's he getting on over there? I think he's finished and just sort of playing around, so we might have to get them set up doing the tedding, uh, just because it's going to take a long time. If we're getting all this fill every time, it's going to take a long time for us to uh, get all the uh, all the chaff in. So uh, we're going to have to set them up for tedding. But we're not going to have enough time to get everything done that we want, even with a three-day month now. Although, you know, I suppose we could roll some of it over. Worker let me know that they'd finished just as I got back on the field. So they're now set up and tedding the uh, sheep's pasture. That shouldn't take them very long, providing they do it properly. Uh, in doing that, I did also check and the canola should be ready to harvest tomorrow. I think we got it in at its earliest point. So we do want to try and have as much of this grass work done and out of the way. We can uh, fertilise the grass again um, when we uh, we, uh, when we get ready to uh, plant the wheat. So uh, we should have enough slurry, I think, to uh, fertilise all the meadows and both of the fields. So we need to get that mulched as well before that's done. And I think we'll have August to maybe get everything ready because I think we plant in September for wheat and barley. So you know, we've got a, got a small window to work with. I think this year we've done a reasonably good, good job of uh, minimalizing the uh, amount of grass work that was shown been uh, ticking over in the background. I think it's sort of come to the end of last year as well. We did pretty good with that. So, so it's okay to to put some back in again now. Like I say, it is the, uh, the bread and butter of the farm. It's what we do. I'll work a Mr. Small patch or two, which I will just go over and do myself. Uh, just because I don't want that then uh, get churned in into the baler when we're doing the baling and that's at the point where it registers it and flips it to grass in there, or as these things sometimes happen. I don't want that. Just make sure it is all turned. It looks a lot of it again. We've really looked after this, these meadows, and uh, they are going to be fruitful for us. Let's say we'll, uh, we'll keep half the hay, and uh, the other half will... Oh, look at that, someone scuffed up there. We'll keep half the hay and sell the other half. Like, I can feel the traction going and the wheels slipping. It's really good. Right, I'll finish these last little, little bits off and we'll get him set up in the um, cow pasture. So, almost perfect timing as I've come to drop off. Our worker is coming around. Hopefully, they're not going to get stuck on the fence like they always do. And uh, they'll get round there. 
don't mind if they cut a little bit short and I have to go round afterwards. It's, it's more annoying to have to stop what I'm doing, constantly go and uh, sort them out, than it is to uh, go round at the end and just tidy up after them. While we're inside here, we'll try and see if I can uh, show off a few of the uh, the IC. So if I turn it on, I think that's the that's my only issue with the IC is that to really know what you're doing, you need to uh, have something extra on the HUD. And uh, as we've sort of established over the last <laughs> year, eighteen months, I don't like things on my HUD. But we can hit it. Got a door that we can open that to get in and out from both sides. We can open our window up at the top, it's rather nice. We can uh, pull the blind in to shut it. Should the uh, the sun be getting in our eyes, or or for whatever reason, and we do have the other door as well. I missed my strip, so we're going to go back up. Just while I show this off. So uh, where's that gone? Over there. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe around the back can open up our window which I think I might leave open for now so yeah that's pretty good I'm just going to jump out and uh, show you so what you should do is open the door get in close your door there we are then uh, turn the visuals off now I'm not sure if I turn it off I can't trigger anything so but yeah, we got our, got our back back window open, letting some air in. I just thought I'd show that. Well, our work is absolutely on it today. Putting us to shame. They're making up for all the mistakes they've made hitting fences, getting stuck on trees in the past. They've finished their mowing. They've ted both of the, uh, the pastures. And they're now um, wind rowing the hay in the uh, the empty uh, cattle pasture they are on it they've had their Red Bull and their Weetabix <laughs> they are flying through it and as you can see I've still got what about a third of that field still to bring in I need to be cracking on as you can see as I unload this they're getting through that at quite a rate already already gone round the field twice they must be coming into view pretty soon it's not a big field, unless they've now finally got stuck somewhere. No, nope, here they come. Smashing it. Awesome. Well, I've finally finished collecting in off my first field. And as you can see, the worker is now raking small sheep's pasture. Once they've done that, they're done for the day. They've not got any more jobs to do. So perhaps they're in a rush to get home. Perhaps there's something they need to be doing today. I'm going to roll straight into uh, getting this one in. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to have a chance to even get started on the baling today. We'll see. Hopefully. Well, it's now five o'clock. Our work was finished off for the day. They left at around about half past four. So for a change, it's me that's being left out. Finish off a job. The uh, the realism mods for the tires, the load, uh, center of gravity, and things like that have really made a difference on um, working ability of the tractors, which is good. It's more realistic. So I'm going to have to bear in mind that I need to maybe start a little bit earlier. The 8 o'clock start just isn't going to cut it, especially when we've got a lot to do. So tomorrow morning, I mean, it should be harvest tomorrow, so tomorrow morning I'll be up early anyway. It might be at 6 o'clock start. It's a big field. But we'll, uh, we'll definitely make sure we've got enough time, or I'd hope to have enough time, to uh, get some of that baling done. Because I'm going to be I want to be doing this late into the evening, I think. We've still got so much to get in. And uh, I've uh, 
wouldn't say I've promised, I've tried to promise that I won't make long, boring grass videos, so uh, that's probably going to be it for today video-wise, but I will keep working through that and getting that loaded into the clamp. So I'm not going to cover it, but I might try and um, compact it a bit, just so there's not so much compaction to do once we've got the second cut in there as well. We're already at about 200 and 50, 260,000 litres I think. So if we put another another cut in there and and use all four meadows this time, I think we're going to be pushing for close to a million. I think we could have nearly a million litres, which would be great. Uh, well, 750 maybe, which is a lot. <laughs> so much for us. As I drive in, you should get a little uh, little bit at the top to tell you what we've got. We've got 248,000 uh, litres. So I'll unload this. I shall keep filling it up. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'm not quite sure how it's going to come out. It might be really short because I don't just want long sequences of just grass. Uh, so this might be a short one today, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.